Welcome to the Black Lion Podcast. We are your hosts, Lex and Dom. And today we have a special guest. Special guest, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is uh, Caprice, a.k.a. Priest. Um, thank you for having me today. We're happy to have you. Okay. Um, what is your business name? Okay, so um, it's a couple of... Uh, businesses ventures I do have. Um, the main one um, that I have a page for is 6 a.m. magazine. That's a uh, priest for press. And um, I'm sorry about that. Um, I model for uh, Pure magazine and 6 a.m. magazine. That's not my business. It's a close friend of mine, photographer, now family. <laughs> and um, I'm featured in I if, I if I got it right, I think it's five to six features, and I have two covers, three covers. So one with Pure Magazine and two with um, 6 a.m. Magazine. And the other businesses I do have, I have two clothing lines. Uh, CBC, for one, that's my baby. That was my first one I ever started. And it's called um, CBC Classy Book Hockey. It explains my personality. So um, that's a female line. It did start out um, unisex, but it didn't go well. So um, I guess guys don't want to be classy, but cocky. <laughs> so that's how that happened. Um, and now it's a, a legit, uh, fe- just straight female line, all types of um, clothing. Um, also, and the other one is my athletic line, and that's unisex. And I haven't started that fully yet, but it's called Motivated. That's M-O-T-I-V-8-D. So Motivated. Um, that's my second and I think last one that I'm going to do because it's a lot of work. And it's just me. So. Um, can you give the audience a little background about yourself? Um, yes. Um, first things first, I didn't expire to be like what you see on my Instagram page, um, P- Priest for Prez, like the whole Instagram model. Um, I don't like that term. Instagram model is somebody that probably never been published before. Like you can actually buy my magazine, like buy the magazine and get me and a whole bunch of other um, models in that, uh, in that, in that book. So I don't like the term Instagram model. Um, so I'm 31. Um, I'm a Gemini. So I'm a little, um, my photographer says I'm a little crazy to work with, but I think that's a lot. <laughs> um, shout out to my photographer um, at Mr. Exchange. Um, great photographer. He does all types of photography. Um, what else like could I could I say so I've been doing it for about three years three to four years now I also have a um podcast called Three's Co podcast and um I love that I think I love that the most because I get to be myself like I get to and it's with three other guys so I gotta really like be more raw than usual if you if you (laughs) can say that um what else uh, I have a, a daughter, so I also get those questions like, oh, like you're a model, you barely have a lot on, like, what what are you teaching your daughter, I guess, or how you maneuver that with a young child, and my daughter has seen my, my photos, like, um, she hasn't seen too much, like, I don't, I don't believe my pictures are racy, like, I believe they're very tasteful, like, so, I think the things that I wear out in on vacation is like less clothes than I would wear in my magazine features. So I don't feel as bad. Like I do keep those things away from her, but she has seen majority of the pictures. You won't see, she won't see the whole magazine now, but she will see some of the pictures. So she thinks I'm famous. <laughs> Other than that, it's just, I'm very humble about all the opportunities that I receive. Um, it's really nothing spectacular uh, spectacular about me at all. I do have a, a regular nine to five. Um, other than that, like I just work on my outside businesses um, outside of those times. 
how are you and your family coping with COVID-19? Wow. Uh, this actually has been a very hard year for me, um, I, as it has been for everybody. But um, due to COVID, um, my working conditions have um, been in an uproar. Um, but I, I, I am one of the essential personnel, so I'm happy to have, you know, I am, I'm happy to be working at this time. So I'm not going to take that away from myself. Um, other than that, um, just not being able to travel. My birthday is in May. I didn't get to go. I had to cancel all my trips from last year. Um, my dad actually uh, caught COVID and was sick for a while, but he beat it. But um, this year, just uh, my dad lost his leg due to diabetes in um, April. So um, I wasn't able to see him since April. So it, that's that's very hard. So how you doing, Alexis? Hi, how you, how you doing? I was having a little bit of car trouble, but I'm good now. <laughs> So just just for Lex, can you repeat some of the things you were saying about um your job? I mean the yeah, more so your modeling um thing you do. Um like be more specific with that question. Like what you mean what what do I do besides take the besides take pictures? No, just how you were saying that how you um you said you more like you keep it away from your door, like how you was explaining how you keep it away from your door and things. Okay, like so I get a copy of the magazines that I feature in. So those are actually away from her. Like um a couple times that I did have to take her when I had certain shoots in New York, I would take her with me. But she was also accompanied with my mom, so she wasn't in the room. Um, if it was in a hotel, they went on and had lunch or something like that. So she didn't see what was going on. Like you see me with a whole bunch of makeup on and regular clothes. I go in there, change it to my outfit. You don't, she doesn't see any of that. You just see, oh, mommy going to a photo shoot. That's basically it. So in the magazines, I just keep those away from her. She has seen some of them though. And she just says, mom, you look pretty. That's good. Um, did you tell them how long you've been modeling for? Yes, I yeah. did. Um, uh, about three to four years. It was so crazy how it started because, um, I mean, I I didn't expire to be this. Um, and I still don't think I'm like this huge model or anything. So, um. He actually put a post up, my photographer, Mr. Exchange, and he put up, who would you like to see in our next magazine? And somebody tagged me. And I'm like, I looked at it and kind of just got off the page because I thought it was crap. Like, I thought it was like a lie or something. The guy actually um, hit me up and um, his name, Jay. Jay hit me up in my email and it was like, would you like to shoot with us? I, I started going on the page. I'm seeing women with like bent all the way over, like really showing everything. So I'm like, oh no, like <laughs> I'm okay. Like I'm not, I'm not into that. You know, um, I'm not gonna be bent over on nobody's couch and bed and stuff like that. Like I kind of like went off in our first, like our first phone call. He was like, ho, ho, ho. Like those women, those are what they wanted. They that is what they wanted to do. Like I'm I can be your speed if you want and just give a little bit of sexy, but you know, I would like to work with you. So I'm like, okay. Then he gives me this um hotel out in New York. So I'm like, oh, this is a bunch of this, this is a lie. This gotta be a lie. Like, come on. I all of a sudden I go to New York and what what happens? He kidnapped me or something like that. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I don't know him, you know. So like I'm like, man, I ain't this this crap. This this has gotta be a lie. So I I can I consult with my mom about it. I'm like, I don't know. Like, he really do got magazines. Like, I'm looking, and most of the shoots are in New York or like Baltimore. So I'm like, maybe, maybe it is a real thing. My mom says straight off the bat, you're not going by yourself. I'm going. And I'm like, okay, well, well then I'll see it. And come to find like he's one of the nicest 
disguise. And it was like, he was very, very, uh, like understanding of me. My mom was in the room. Like he just was like, is you comfortable? Like, you okay? Like, and he was very, very nice. And it actually was a legit thing. So I was excited about that. Um, and that's how that kicked off. It was, it was actually a, a very good day that day. So that's great. So you never like modeled before then or never even thought about it. Okay, so I did do for my 27th birthday. My birth my birthday is May 27th. So um on the tw- on my 27th, I was hyped because it was on the 27th and I, and I was turning 27. I was like, I want to do a semi-new photo shoot for myself just to hang sexy pictures in my room. Right. So I hit up um shout out to Nikki uh for photo- Nikki Riley photography. She was my ever my first ever boudoir, if I'm saying it right, uh, <laughs> photography. And so I, I was topless, like, um, and I had bottoms on, that's it. Uh, and she was like very, very um, gentle with me too. Like, she was like, it's okay. She make you feel really good. Like, so that, I can say that was my first ever, but I wasn't like featured in anything. Right. Um it was just it was just good but that I used to, I think the root of it that makes me excited is to keep doing it is because when I was younger I had um self-esteem problems like uh, excuse me I used to uh, always I was always the darker girl I used to hang out with a light-skinned girl and she like would get all the attention so um nobody really paid attention to me because at that time like a light skin was in and like I was darker, and then I had like um, white spots on my face. It was just like a mess. So I had braces, everything. So nobody really paid attention to me. That's so, why dark skin never went out of style. I just want you. Well, to know. I I would like to say so too, but I it, it meant, well where I grew up in North Philly, it was like light skin over dark skin. So it was that was just the thing. So um, mm-hmm. I didn't get a lot of attention, and then I I really didn't. I wasn't dressy like. I'm coming from not the best circumstances. So I got like corny clothes and stuff like that. So nobody really paid attention. So I struggled with like really liking how the way that I looked. So when I first did that first photo shoot with Nikki Riley, it was like, wow, like I can be sexy. Like it was already building before then. But when I first did that photo shoot, it was like, yo like I like this I like I like how this feel um I won't lie I like the attention I was like shit like this feel good like so I think just channeling that um other side of me that sexual side of me or that that tease inside of me is it what what does it for me I I'm a mother um I'm a career, I'm in my career and all this. And if, if I could really, I could tell y'all this off air what I do, you probably be like, <gasps> like, so to have this little piece of myself that everybody gets to see and they're actually surprised, like, yo, like, you don't seem like this type. So I, I really like that piece of it. Like, so I really like the modeling thing. Um, you and you, your family, like, what kind of um, like water do y'all drink? Huh? What kind of water do you and your family drink? Um, well, I got right now. I think in the house, I got like the Poland Spring that was on sale at um, okay. got right. I asked because a lot of people drink different kinds of water and stuff. Cause okay. Is out some water is more healthier than other water. That's what I was asking. Well, it's whatever's on sale, but I don't like um aquafina. I don't like how it tastes. Poland spring is okay, and the bowling basket that's usually on sale a lot from Shoprite, the Shoprite brand. So oh okay. <laughs> Can she hear me? She heard. She. I think she said thank you. She did some meat. Oh. I am. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh. 
Thank you. What do you see your businesses and yourself at in five years? Um, I don't, I, I won't even lie to you. It's not, I don't wish that these be huge, huge companies. Cause again, it's just me. Maybe if it wants to, you know, go bigger and maybe I can get some type of help then yes, but five years, I'm more, that's something that I enjoy doing in my spare time. It's not like something that I'm willing to, that I really want to quit my job for and then start that full time. Like it's really tedious because it's just me, you know, um, far as the modeling if it get more mainstream yeah that'd be great but I don't I I can't sit here and say I want to be this type of model for the rest of my life like no that's not it so in the next five years I will share something with you guys um that I'm actually writing a book about my childhood so I would really like for that to get out there like that's where I just want to, my main thing, and I took psychology for a couple years, and if I can reach at least one or two people and just tell them my story and let them know that you don't have to end up, you know, you can go through so much in your childhood, you don't have to end up like a statistic, you know, and if I can get to one, two people and just help them with that. I feel like I've done enough. So that's very much on the hush hush. Y'all got that first. So <laughs> um, I, I'm very new in it. I'm just writing and writing. And I sometimes I have to take breaks because when you think about your childhood and yeah, you know, you've been through some shit, you know, and, but you don't know how much you sweat in the back of your mind until you have to write it out and it's like yo like yo I've really seen that like I've really seen it and sometimes I really have to take a break and just and I might not come back to it for another week because it was just like wow I really have to relive these feelings again and it, and it's tough so it's taking me a little bit longer because wow like I really been through some stuff just young and then by myself. So if you could give anyone advice as they start in a business, what advice would you give them? Don't listen to anybody else about what your outcome may be. Oh, I don't think you should do that. Everybody got this. You know how many people got clothing lines? You know how many people model? You know how many Instagram models it is? You know how many people just with the podcast? Like, period. You know how many people got podcasts? Like, you got some. If if God put that inkling in your mind, and that's whatever, whatever God you believe in or anything, if they put that inkling in your mind, go ahead and try it out. It might You might find out that it's not for you, but you tried it. And you might find out that, wow, I actually like this. Try it. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. I got a small story about that. When I was 21, I wanted to move out. Like, uh, me and my mom kept getting into it. Um, I was like, I don't want to stay here no more. I want to look for an apartment. Somebody told me, why don't you buy a house? And I'm like, I'm not buying no house. Like, I don't got, I don't got that type of money or whatever. And they said, why don't you go talk to somebody at Remax? Um... It, it wouldn't be like that much or anything. So I go and talk to Remax. And at 21, no, at 20, that was at 20. I got my keys at 21. And somebody told me to my face that um, you ain't going to have that house more than a year. Straight like that. Because okay. it's hard. You probably think that it's going to be easy. It's going to be hard. And say if you have kids, it's going to be so hard. You're not going to have that house. And I just passed 10 years. I just passed 10 years. So don't let people feed their fear into you. I don't care how small it is. I don't, I don't care. You like, go ahead and do what you feel like you want to do because it's your life, it's not theirs. Right. Because renting is just like having your, your house because you paying someone else's mortgage. 
you mm-hmm. can't, and then you're paying for all the utilities. So mm-hmm. it's like that's your house regardless, but it's actually somebody else's house you're paying for it for. Yes. I don't know who would say a house isn't as a not not a good investment. I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, and like people is just like, why don't you? I got um, some advice. This is family. I got some advice to why don't you get a studio apartment first and then save for a house? Like that's not what you do. Like, and I'm so young that I almost listened. I was like, yeah. Like I started getting scared for a little bit, but. I'm so happy that the people that I did have in my corner was like, no, no, listen, we're going we're gonna to go talk to these people and I know that you can do it. And my, I'm glad at, of the agent that I had. He mm-hmm. took his time. Me, I'm 20 years old in your office talking about this. And you know you about to get, um, I forgot what it's called, um, uh, not collateral, but you get something from selling me a house. You could have took me anywhere. It was like, yeah, pay for this two hundred thousand dollar house. And then, no, you you listened to me, and was like, okay, you know, and we gonna go slow with this, and that's what it was. And and I'm I'm happy I made that that step. That's great. I'm currently working on buying my first house too. So. Yeah, it's it's a great experience. Just take it. I will say, take your time. I didn't. I didn't want kids. I won't lie. Um, I was, I didn't think I was gonna have kids. And then when I um actually had a miscarriage um before my daughter, um I didn't think I could have kids. So uh I didn't really search the neighborhood like I should. It's not a bad neighborhood, but then at the same time, I wish that I would have went. Like in the morning, at night, came around maybe during the summer before I made my last decision. Yeah. But I wanted to get out of my mom's house so fast that I was like, "Oh, this is the house!" My first day of looking, I found my house, and I it shouldn't be like that. That is something that you're gonna have for a while, right? So that's that's the only tip I had for that because I really didn't because I don't think I'd have been living here just with having a kid. And you said you're still in that house? Yep. That's good. Years. 2000, yeah. August 2010. That's not bad at all. Yeah. How many bedrooms? Three. So the, I, we, I, we would have been in my office, but um, I don't have anything in the back of me. And it's kind of like the light. I don't like the lightning. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, ah, like I'll just go in my my dining room. Is the light is brighter? Do you have any more questions for us, Lex? I was thinking of some questions. I don't know what you didn't ask her already. But... I asked her all the questions. Yes. I sent her uh, the question. Okay. So I asked her all those questions. I mean, y'all can say y'all can ask me what y'all want. I'm not. I'm okay. Okay. Uh, how do you being a mother and a business owner? It's and a hard. homeowner. Huh? I say as well as a homeowner. It's hard because, I mean, every little thing, like right now, as far as the homeowner thing, we got two raccoons in the uh, neighborhood. So, yes, it's, it's insane. So, like, I'm trying to do whatever to keep them away from my property. But that's something like it's just me and her. So it's something like if this sucker come in here, he gonna get shot. Like, but you're not allowed to shoot them. So it's just like you're not. Hold on. What'd you say? <laughs> shoot them. Like you're not. Somebody could call the cops. Oh, so I'm right. like, I'm talking to my neighbors. They was like, yeah, it's two big ones. He going across the street over here. This and the third. It's two of them. So I'm mm. like, well, look, if you hear two gunshots, I mean, do I got y'all word that y'all not going to call the cops? Because, like, right. if you get in mine, like, it's over. I don't got, you know, <laughs> I don't got no man here to be like, oh, like, you know, it's just it's just <laughs> us. So I'm shooting something. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Right now, it's, it's looking like we're going to have to set a trap and everything like that because it's actually tearing up one of the houses down the block. Oh, my goodness. 
like their their porch is coming down. So I'm like, that's the thing as far as the homeowner. That's that's stressful alone. Mm-hmm. And then just trying to find some type of energy to actually be in my office and and printing shirts and and outfits and stuff like that after doing an eight hour shift. Okay. And and I work three to eleven. So oh. like. I, my sleep time is morning. She's in school on her in the office on, on visually. I mean, mm-hmm. vis, um, virtually. So that's my sleep time. Bam, go to work, come back here, and then try to figure out. And I'm learning all these machines by myself. I'm talking sewing, embroidery, um, vinyl, um, heat press. I'm learning all this. I'm just I just learned tie dye myself. So, um. All that stuff, I'm trying to just figure out a complete balance. So I'm actually still figuring everything out as far as that. So it's That's- hard. And then it's been times where I finish my work um, at work and I try to write more on the book. So it's like an all day thing. That is crazy. Don't even let me discuss um, the gym. <laughs> I haven't been there. <laughs> Because it's just, I usually go to the gym overnight. You go to the gym at your house. Get your weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought a yoga mat. I got the uh the um restraint bands, and I didn't even start it yet because it's just like I need my gym. That's my time away. That's but like you, my you can focus. have it like this picture music on, whatever music you listen to at the gym, be right at in your house and doing your workout. Yeah, that's what it's there. getting to. Because if I gain any more weight, that I ain't gonna be nobody miles. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us any like modeling experiences that you experienced? Crazy. Yeah. Um, I I I had to get dressed in graffiti pier. And what? um, you know where graffiti pier is? No. Okay, that's in Philadelphia. Um, it's in. It's like really woody. When we get off, just kind of look it up. It's like uh-huh. it's actually United supposed to be in it because it's closed off. Like it's closed off, but we we just walked back here and took the pictures. Like it, yeah. they made the place that I actually learned. They actually made the place because people kept tagging buildings, side of buildings, like spray paint. Mm-hmm. So they made graffiti pier for everybody to do their tagging, and it's actually a very good. Um, picturesque place it's very nice so we walked back there but I had to bring my duffel bag you know and I got dressed back there it's woody everything like I'm getting bit up like oh oh my god (laughs) like it was crazy but that I think that was my craziest and just um interacting with other models my mom the first time was with me so um one of the models just came and said oh hey how you doing mom said hi to me and just got but <laughs> naked and was just like put and my mom was like oh okay like okay I was like okay like but that made me feel more comfortable because I'm, yeah. I'm like this I'm like I got a bra on but I'm like this like <laughs> but that type of party okay <laughs> I was like all right like oh she was like yeah yeah and then and it was that was more crazier than anything okay but now you're more comfortable Oh, yeah, like, that's, like, bro, like, and everybody always asks, like, so, like, y'all never did anything? Like, no, like, it's not like that. And they like, so he seen you, like, with no clothes on. I was like, yeah, he had to actually help me put clothes on. I mean, one time, he had to oil me. Like, I mean, like, I'm supposed to, I can't get my back all the way. I can get everything else, but I can't get my back all the way. He had to help me. And they like, wow. Huh? I said they gotta realize all men not like that. Yeah, and they, and they was just like, wow, like he really did that. Like, so he don't don't try to come at you at all. I mean, I'm not saying what he see don't be like, hey, she look good, but he never came out his his mouth crazy to me. He stayed professional. Yes, that's good. They don't mess up the money. Facts. If it make money, it makes sense. That's all. Yeah. That's how that go. <laughs> Yeah. But I, ever since then, I'll get like, oh, we want to shoot with you. And I'll run it by him because it's like, I trust him. So if he do the, the questionnaire for them, 
mm-hmm. and it, it passes, then I'll go along with that because that's how I got into Pure Magazine. And I was like, okay. And they're from, um, I hope, I hope I'm saying it right. I think they're from North Carolina. Okay. So I was really excited about that. That's great. You got your, you got any um magazine covers or a uh, photo spring? No, I actually got to get them framed. But then again, then again, like where? Like I'm thinking now, yeah, like where would I put them? Like besides <laughs> my room. Good. There you go. I definitely could. I'm gonna do an accent wall. I want to do that. That's the next thing I want to get into. Try um, painting on my own. Okay. I want to do my own accent wall because I mean, you pay these people hundreds and hundreds of dollars, mm-hmm. and it's something that I could do with tape. Yep. Go right on YouTube and learn it. There you go. <laughs> How your relationship with your mother? How how is it? Mm-hmm. That that has always been a strained relationship. Oh, since I was a kid, always. Just would you say it got better that now that you had your daughter? I can understand in the times that she got frustrated with me. Because um, my they say you get it back 10 times full and my daughter is sarcastic like me. <laughs> um, and sometimes she's quick with her responses that I have to pluck her. Like, what you say? Watch your tone now. So I can understand that part, but still, it's like, it's still a strange relationship. <laughs> like, that's, that's just still what it is. I wanted it to be better, but I just think we're just two different people. Okay. Yeah. That's how a lot of um that's a lot of um daughters and mothers they go through that a lot. Yes. I, I just really wish. But me and my dad are best friends. <laughs> like it's so crazy when I tell people that because like when I lost my virginity, I ran to my dad. Like I didn't tell my mom. Like mm-hmm. uh she was more mad than anybody. She was like, what? She actually did, she actually didn't even believe it. She thought I lost it a year before I actually did, and I didn't. So that my dad was more like, I don't know what was going on in his head, but I know he was real calm with me. He's like, You using mm-hmm. protection, right? And I'm like, Yes. And he was like, All right, just you know, be safe. He probably was hitting the wall when he hit the air <laughs> when he left, when I left. But because I was Somebody 17. Have a for my princess. Mm-hmm. I was 17 when I lost it so I came to him I sat him down and I was like dad you know um, I'm sexually active he was like um, <laughs> he was like okay uh, you use your protection and I was like yes and he was like he was like alright I, I appreciate you coming and talking to me about it when I had my first menstrual I went to him <laughs> oh, I went man. to him like I did like I that's my comfort zone. Like my dad does not judge. My dad is very slow with me. Like he's like, he's like the best dad ever. Like, and I hope that I know I'm not that way with my kid. I'm I'm trying, but like he was like the he's the best parent. Like even when I got into my adult years and I was doing things that I knew I shouldn't have been doing, like, and I I'll come to him, he'd be like, you know you're wrong, right? And I'll be like, yeah. And he was like, all right, I'll be here when it fall apart. And when oh. it fell apart, where was I? Right in, right in his <laughs> lap crying. And he just like, well, we, I knew it was going to happen. Like, you knew you wasn't supposed to be doing that in the first place. Like, and that's how close we are. So, but my mom were like, oh, you need to do this. You need to do this. So, like, <laughs> there's a lot of judgment here. So, I think that's probably, like, a lot of what it is. Yeah. She don't give me, I like to tell like my friends that don't have kids yet or how, like they might ask me how you was able to talk to your dad or just about anything. My, I, I say it just like this. My dad gave me a safe place to land. If I land anywhere near my mom, I might blow up. Like, <laughs> but <laughs> like my dad gave me a very soft and safe place to land. Like even when I was dead wrong, 
messing with people I wasn't supposed to mess with. My dad was like, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> you'll see. Like, and it was just that. He just waited. Like, he didn't like, I told you not to do this. Like, he did that one time with a boyfriend when I was 16. And it was because that I didn't speak to him. He was like, who that on the porch? I was like, that's my boyfriend. And he was like, not no more. Like, he don't got no respect. If he can't speak to somebody, an adult that walks in his house, he don't got no respect. Yeah. And I was like, dad, he didn't know he was my dad. He's like, I don't care, and I don't want you to see him. And I'm like... I, I just got something. <laughs> not, not against your dad, per se, but against what he said, though. More so, if if somebody in the house already and you walk in there, regardless if it's your house or not, he was your your boyfriend was in the house already. He should have spoke to him saying hello. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Cause that's I know it now though. Yeah. You supposed At to say 16, I'm like, you being like, why you being like this? I love him. Like, and that was the no. only time. I'm not saying that your your boyfriend was wrong. I'm talking about your dad was wrong. No. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. See, no, no. Y- 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 y'all he wasn't wrong. in the house. This is the first oh. thing I'm gonna say. He wasn't in the house. He was sitting oh, okay. on the front steps. Okay, that's and good. my dad just walked up and I gave him a hug and he went in the house. He waited till my company left and he called me in the room. He said, who's that? And I was like, um, that's my boyfriend, dad. And he like, oh, not no more. Like, and I'm like, what? Like, he like, he can't even speak to an adult that walks in this house. And I'm like, dad, he didn't even know who you was. Like, and he was like, I don't care. Anybody that came in this house, he should have been, how you doing? Hello. And yeah. I do that. That's how he taught me. My yeah. my daughter will come into a house and don't say no, nah, fuck her. You don't it's see different. If he come in the house, he supposed to speak. Dumb. But, yo. Dumb. I, I, that's how my family, uh, trust me, my family is strict. We speak to all the adults. We had a adult section, we had a kid section in our um, house, or in our family in general. It's a place for children and it's a place for adults. We knew not to go in, the, when we was children, we knew not to go in the adult vicinity. Unless we need something, like some money or something. I met the kids with the kids, the adults with the adults. Dumb. I'm listening, Lex. If I'm paying these bills in this house, and I walk in my house, and a little boy don't speak to me, or on my steps, no. We ain't having that. Uh-uh. Her dad was right. Yeah, he, he was. I, I did not like it at that time. I did not. But baby, now I wish, I wish... Yeah, my daughter has somebody. I'm be saying hello. I will probably get in the kid face. Hello, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, <laughs> you gonna speak in this house? Like, yeah. mm-hmm. but I don't have to worry about that for some time. But you know, she only eight. But soon, I know that's coming. You gonna want your homies over? Uh, as far as your um, girlfriends, maybe some neighborhood kids. Y'all best to speak. Mm-hmm. Or you won't be allowed back. Yeah. It's a it's a respect thing, so I get it, but I didn't get it when I was sixteen. Mm-hmm. Respect were both ways. That's all. I'm gonna leave it at oh, that. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but respectfully ask you to get the hell out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm with Lex on that one. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, let's let's get um. I don't know how personal you want to get, but I, I don't mind. <laughs> no, so, I really don't because I mean, like, I'm is you got personal pictures like of me, so like it's it's up and it's stuck. So like, go ahead. So when it you're a single mom, right? Yes. Okay. So when it comes to dating, how fast is too fast for you for them to int- for you to introduce them to your child? We talking. Ooh, we we talking half a year. I think that's a little bit too soon. Okay. Cause I I mean even if I want a little action, she sleep and you out before she um wake up. Yeah. And that's if we even here, cause I don't like that either. <laughs> nah. I hope you got a place to go, cause. <laughs> hmm. This ain't it. Now that you like you you ask you didn't ask plenty of people this question. Mm-hmm. So well, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. I'm not. I'm just just trying to understand. So y'all having sex with whatever guy y'all dating, and he gets y'all pregnant. 
do so y'all not going to introduce him then if you know you're pregnant okay well i'm i'm sorry but i don't know who's getting pregnant within the six month time frame no nah, i'm just saying anything <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> plan b too but um i i got a little thing with birth control i don't i don't i'm against birth control now uh um birth because, control kill your body y'all just don't know it no um I believe that because um, my girlfriend believed that Depo gave her breast cancer. She beat it. It's been a year. That's great. Um, Shout out to her. But um, I'm against it now. So I don't know who get pregnant in the six month time frame. You had to wait half of that to even get some. Like for real. Yeah, that's great. And if it's and if it's and if you don't wait that time, you damn sure ain't coming in this house. That was out of pure greed that you got some. That I, I wanted some. That was out of pure greed. You damn sure ain't coming in this house. <laughs> no, they say <clears throat> so, like you need somewhere to stay. Like, yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> He said, oh, she got her own crib? Oh, yeah. I've come across that. Like, they take you out on one date. First of all, the first date ain't, mm-hmm. ain't even a date. It's like, you want to meet me for drinks? And I'm like, the, I, I don't know. If I really like you, I don't find a problem with that. If I really like you like that, I'd be, I be like, no. Because I get off so late. Okay. So... I mean, if I got a hoodie in the car, I might come out. If I really fuck with you like that, I'm like, damn, you look all right. I, I'll meet him for drinks. But for the most part, I really don't be wanting to do that. Like, I really want you to plan something. Give mm-hmm. me enough time so I can have a sitter. And then we go out on the actual date. But since COVID, like, dating has been fresh. Like, <laughs> it's just trash. They and I just, I'm home. chalking this year. I've had people tell me they'll pay they'll pay my babysitter for me to come out, and I'm just like, no. <sighs> Sounds like a good time, but COVID is in the back of my mind. I'm like, yeah, no, that's it. Mm-mm. I have had I had a couple of days. I went bowling and um and things like that, but nah, dating is kind of like non-existent right now. <laughs> Everybody dating on these dumb apps that they keep coming out with. They say okay. that they're free, but they don't be free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what's your like relationship with your daughter's father? Um, Is it a good one or a bad one? I'm definitely going to say it's it's not worse. It's not hugely bad it's not great though it's not good I just want to do for her and then that's it I was with him for seven years oh wow um, yeah so like he has his own um relationship um outside of Philadelphia so that's just bad <laughs> it's really like really nothing if she needs something I'll talk to him hopefully he'll help and then that's just it. Like it's not. I don't. Yo, I'd be happy. I would put it like this. I'd be happy if I even get a happy Mother's Day. I was surprised this year. Like, oh, I got a happy Mother's Day. <laughs> like I was surprised. Like so, that's that's where we at. And if I get a happy birthday, that's really like kicking it out the box. <laughs> like, what you need? Wow. <laughs> if I if I really get a like happy birthday text, like I'll be like, oh, like that's something I'm not used to. Okay. I asked that question for a follow-up question. So like when you want to start talking to someone new, do you like are you upfront about your relationship with your baby father? Or um is it like hidden? He was upfront with me about his, so uh well kind of. I had to pull it out of him. Because we usually go for Christmas, we'll go to his sister's, and I was still kind of keeping that up. Well, I just started recently getting off on the holidays. Um, so just a couple years ago, we had off. I had off 
on actual holiday. So I'm like, all right, it was Christmas. I'm like, all right, so he was like, I'll pick Lyric up this time, this time, you know? And I'm like, no, I'll just meet you there. And he's like, no, I'll get her. Like, you keep pushing to pick her up. I said, bro, I'm off. Like, it's all right. Like, and he like, oh, uh, so you coming too? And I'm like, yeah, I'm off. I'm going to spend Christmas with my kid. Like, you crazy. What, you bringing somebody? And he was like, yeah, I think. And I'm like, bro, it's okay. Like, I don't want you. Like, get, what's her name? Okay, I'll meet him when I get there. And that's how that happened because I had to pull it out of him. But unless, like, we boyfriend, girlfriend, he done met my kid. Um, I mean, we really in a relationship, then I feel like I'll I'll open up and say something. Okay. But it you you be talking to somebody for a couple weeks and you be thinking it's gonna go somewhere and then it don't. So I don't I don't open my mouth for for quite some time. You might be like, uh how long y'all been talking? Oh about four four or five months, like what's well, hey? I make sure these days. <laughs> they be wolves and sheep clothing I guess you ain't lying and then I, re I really wish that guys could just tell you straight up you just never know what that female wants so if you just want to pop say that you never know like you know what I ain't even gonna lie that's kind of like what I want to you might not get mm -hmm. a, a, a lot of females that's gonna be that up front mm -hmm. but for the most part I, especially somebody like me I've been single for as long as my daughter been living like I've been in situationships but like I can tell you exactly what I, like look I don't even see this going past nothing but what's up like it ain't gonna be first night I don't think <laughs> I want to see what your vibe is like because what if I get your vibe and I don't like your vibe and then never mind. I don't even want the physical part. I still want to hang out and see where it's at if I even still want it after that. But I mean, I wish guys just be up front. Y'all be acting like y'all interested in what I got going on. What's on your podcast? Come on. All this like, oh yeah, so when can I get a book? Boy, you ain't even got to do all that. Like, <laughs> Because as soon as I stop fucking with you, you about to unfollow everything. Yeah. So, like, do we keep that? That's for petty guys. Real, guys, guys. real men don't do that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. The only, time, the only time I unfollow a female or block her is she say something too out of pocket to me. And she just keep going on and on. Cause I got too many, too many females in my my family for that, and they yeah. don't they they be on that type of time. They be ready to fight. So <laughs> uh, I try to I try to avoid all bloodshed as as soon as possible. I know that's right. Yeah, I'm. I'm I block you for not talking to me for the whole day. <laughs> oh, okay, I block forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's just like I don't like wasting my time. Okay. So if if you. But if you feel the need to not go throughout your day and when I hit me up to make sure I'm cool, ain't no need for me to talk to you. Thanks. I just, um, I stopped talking to somebody because of that. It's like, you went two days and then all of a sudden, but, oh, uh, like, we was having a conversation, talking every day. Then you go this 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 period of time without saying anything. And I'm like, oh, okay, you must be either tying up loose ends with somebody or something like that. That's cool. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and block you. Then I see you looking in my stories, and I'm like, all right. Then all of a sudden, it's it's, it's a um DM like, oh, I had to um, I forgot, I had to re what something with his phone. I'm like, why you was in the stories? Don't even worry about. It. He was like, no. And then I I was like, he's like, can you please let me explain. So I let him explain, and then he said, please like, you really going to talk about this old stuff? Blah, that's it. Like, <laughs> like. Well, yeah, I'm, trying, I'm really trying. Said, I'm really trying with you. You just going to talk about this old. Boy, don't even call this phone no more. <laughs> whoever started Netflix and chill or whatever the case may be, and these forty dollars on stocks out here, um, it, it's a lot of that going on. So that's why I've never at... been Netflix and chill. No, I'm not never. talking about you. I'm just. I'm just. No, I'm just saying. I was just saying that I've yeah. never been Netflix and chill. These these forty dollar feet. 
chicks out here, they they messing it up. People can't. We can't just jump out there because it's like you got forty dollars for me. Like girls, <laughs> girls be in the box. Right, man, you better out. pay. You better pay a mortgage payment forty dollars. Hey, come on. Yeah, man. I don't understand how they get through with that. So mm-mm. that's what I'll be saying. I'm like, y'all getting this girl forty dollars for what? <laughs> but anyway, like even if, even if, no, you you meet a girl and you see her taking care of her stuff on her own. That should make you want to help her out without her even asking. Somebody that got their hand out, that should be a no from the start. And you right. need something as low as forty dollars. Mm. Just to say you got something from them, that's mm. corny. That's nice. That's what they be doing. Is, is it forty for the for the hit? No, they just, just asking for forty dollars. Just forty dollars to do what they want to do with it. <clears throat> Okay. They they use this. They say it's for my, my children. So they get the guilt tripping guys to get the money. It's for their children? Yeah, so they're like, Not oh sure. my daughter need my daughter needs some food to sign some crap like that. that. Well then that and then they I'm gonna look at you about your parenting. Hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Why she don't got no food? Mm-mm. I'll be confused. Did you I'll eat? Like, did, did you <laughs> eat? Because it's like, what? Oh no. Yeah, that's not a good look. So, what is your take on the girls with the OnlyFans? If I can figure out how to do it without people knowing it's me, me too. It'll be nice. <laughs> it'll really be nice. Y'all could do it. Nah, no. hey, hey, I got tattoos and crap. Like, nah. Like, it's just I can get it. I, 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 I'm. Shouts out to the women that can do it that actually got their face on there and everything like that because baby, once it's on the internet, it ain't no taking it off. Like, I appreciate I congratulations. Like, get that bread, get that bag, but I just can't do it. Y'all know really you don't need gotta get naked for real, for real. You y'all don't can put, and y'all can put on a white t-shirt, wet yourself with some water. Well, that's even that, but my guess what though? My kid can go looking for something, put my name up, and that same thing is coming up. You yeah. can have you can have chocolate or something. All right. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> <coin. Yeah. laughs> Come on with the fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, I don't really have any more questions. <laughs> Can you tell the Can you tell the audience how they can find you? Oh yes, um, my my handles are on uh, Instagram. You have Priest with Press. That's uh P R E E C E the number four Press P R E Z. Um, my uh classy Bukaki uh clothing line is at CBC um apparel underscore. You can just really put CBC in. You're going to see some lips with a bullet in it. Okay. <laughs> and that that's me. Um, other than that, uh, my Three Coats podcast page um, is at THR33SCO. Shout Make out sure. to my guys. Mm-hmm. And what? <laughs> and one last thing any advice just a, um, a life advice just for our audience say that again life advice life advice alright mm-hmm. I got this uh, quote that I try to live by if you don't like the path you're traveling change it period <laughs> <laughs> that's actually my signature on um my work emails until they, I guess they didn't like it or maybe somebody got their feelings hurt. I don't know. Cause they couldn't change their situation. They asked me to delete it, but that was actually my signature on my email. That's great. Good cool. Yes, it is. Cause nobody else going to change it for you. Nope. That's true. Well, we can um, <clears throat> wrap the podcast up, but I don't want you to hang up. Wait until, um, don't hang up as it stop recording. Okay. We thank you. 
Thank you guys. It was really nice.